Good morning and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Tornio Custom Sport Walk Around video. But before we get started, a quick disclaimer. Um, it's incredibly windy out here today and I've tried my very best to cover up my microphone so you can still hear me but not get too much wind interference. So at any point the audio does go a bit you know, windy, I do apologise in advance. Um, but yeah, so this is a beautiful magnetic grey Ford Tornio Custom Sport long wheelbase. So it's a uh, L2 vehicle. This features the 2.0-litre Eco Blue engine producing 185 PS of power. That 185 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through a six-speed manual gearbox. The Tornio is registered on a 2022 registration, meaning we've still got warranty up till March 2025. The vehicle itself is just over 24,000, but like always, I'll get you the exact number once you're on the dash in a moment. So these videos all begin at the near side front bumper. So let's go position ourselves here. And at this stage, I present to you the remote central locking key in all of its beauty. Clicking the unlock button in turn is going to wake up the daytime running lamps. The bit that appear to be flashing at you currently. That is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. But let me assure you, there are some fantastic daytime runners, meaning everybody else on the road is gonna be able to see you inside those beautiful headlights also the by xenon hid headlights there's some fantastic headlights on there uh, almost as bright as the blackpool illuminations further south we have front fog lights and further south of that we can see front parking sensors which make their way along that bottom lip of the bumper this torneo has a wonderful driver assistance pack so that includes things such as pre-collision assist that all operates on that little front facing radar underneath the number plate I shall come back to the driver assistance pack and cover it in its entirety once we're inside the vehicle. But for now, we've got much, much more to cover. Moving ourselves around the vehicle, we then come to these beautiful 17-inch machine-cut alloy wheels. The machine-cut give you the silver shiny face, with this instance, the gloss black paint just behind. We've got some lovely tyres on this one. Um, they are the Aegeus 3 tyres, uh, Michelin Aegeus 3 tyres, and they're in very good condition. It's going to move ourselves up. I'll just show you down the pattern of the tyre. As you can see, I'm doing 24,000. These aren't going to be the originals, so these have been replaced, but you've still got probably 5 mil on there quite comfortably. Moving you up now to the windscreen. Aha, sensors. Uh, that there is a light sensor for the automated lights. So as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, your lights will come on automatically. Further north, there's three more sensors. One on the left hand side is a light sensor for the rain sensor. Um, light sensor for the rain sensing wipers please humor me light sensor for the automated high beam the middle one is a traffic speed sign camera for the traffic speed sign recognition software and the right hand side is a rain sensor for the rain sensing wipers oh got there in the end moving ourselves around we do have hold on hold on folding wing, wing mirrors which are also heated and have that little blind spot assist monitor hello in the reflection as you can see it's very windy so that blind spot assist monitor will illuminate orange if someone's in your blind spot either on the near side or the off side so it's going to tell you if it's unsafe to pull in or out continuing to move around the vehicle the lovely magnetic gray body color is complemented beautifully with rear privacy glass giving that two-way color theme with the gloss black wheels and the rear privacy glass it looks lovely so now I take a step back on the offside rear quarter with the camera nice and high up. I just gently rock the camera side to side. Let me just put my hand over the top so it shades you from that light. So as you can see there, all the body panels are looking fantastic. Like so, then we can go back around to the offside rear. Not forgetting that. Marvellous making our way around the rear of the vehicle so front and rear parking sensors of course they're on that bottom lip and they are complemented just beautifully with a high definition reversing camera that also has the nice black dotted line which leads directly into the factory fitted tow bar a ford tornio custom sport 185 ps manual has a towing capacity of 1800 kilos that also comes with the eu socket they're perfect for all of your towings. If you do tow trailers and things such as that, it's nice to have the high definition reversing camera so you can lead up to your trailer nice and easily, or caravan or something like that. So now the near side, we can give you the exact same treatment. This is where it might start to get a bit windy, so we just cover my mic here as well. So all the way down the near side of the body, 
As you can see, the Tornio Custom Sports come with two sliding entry doors, one on the near side, one on the offside, so you can dictate whichever side is safer to get in or out, i.e. if you're over the continent, on the other side of the road, that might come in handy. Back down now to the near side rear wheel, giving you a good look at that. Again, the Michelin tyre features here as well. And following that all the way down to the near side front wheel, giving you a good look at that. Again, to show you a bit down the tyre there. Lovely amount of tread, fantastic. Right, uh, a quick mechanics lesson for you. I know you didn't ask for it, but let's give you one anyway. So I said at the start, this is an Eco Blue engine. So that there is Add Blue. So Add Blue is a solution that gets filled into a reservoir and that solution is sprayed onto the exhaust gases, really. Sprayed onto the exhaust gases, making it a nice clean burn, eliminating things such as nitrous oxide, making this a ULES and Euro 6.2 compliant vehicle. Now, after that mechanics lesson, oh, by the way, Add Blue, you can buy it quite literally everywhere. We fill, it, fill this vehicle up on a used car preps. So you don't have to worry about that for at least 5,000 miles. Benny petrol station, home base B&Q, everywhere seems to sell it. Very easy to do. Need any more help, give us a shout. So I said this was the longer wheelbase variant. So the long wheelbase comes with incredibly large boot. Fundamentally, if you're new to the Tornio game, the long wheelbase and short wheelbase is defined by that foot and a half gap behind the rear air conditioning blower motor and the rear seats. That is fundamentally the difference between the two. So short wheelbase, the boot will be that big. Long wheelbase, it's that big. Hope that made sense to people. Um, so this again is the rear blower motor for the rear air conditioning. So you've got nice air conditioning controls in the ceiling there. Um, so yeah, big enough for an abundance of suitcases, sports equipment. Uh, you're going to get a full-size Lion in the back here as well. Um, yeah, full-size Lion, or even like a kind of a Komodo dragon will fit in there as well. Two lethal animals. Anyway, if I just get down here. Because underneath there is a full-size spare wheel with all the relevant tools and jacks found underneath the driver's seat to change it on the side of the road. So that is the boot. Another question I get asked, because it's such a large tailgate, how hard is it to shut the boot? Well, quite frankly, not hard at all. You've got two hydraulic struts either side, so pulling the little tab there, as you can see, it is nice and easy. Okay, so I'm guessing the reason you're watching this video is because you require eight seats. So let me give you six of those in the rear. So we currently have two banks of three seats. So there's a lot to cover in the rear here, so just hold your breath and uh, let, me, let me run. So, starting on the windows, we have retractable sun blinds on both the windows. They so pull up, slide down, out your way. Pull it back up again, clip at the top, job done two uh, windows manually opening on either door window if you like at the top there we have the rear air conditioning controls you can see fan speed direction and temperature control rear speaker system rear lights rear flows of vents in the ceiling and again down at the bottom so we've got tons going on in the back here the versatility of these torneos are the main selling point so let me just take you to half zoom so showing you around this seat quickly so you've got half leather half cloth interior so it's gonna be a nice and durable very comfortable on those longer journeys we have every end seat so one two three four are iso fixings so if you require getting the, the smaller humans of this world clipped in four iso fixing seats the middle two are not but they do also double up as a table so you might have seen from the rear fold the seat down you've got a couple of cup holders and a tray area so the party piece for these tornados is these seats are all individual so if it didn't require six seats in the rear for whatever reason, you can take each seat out individually. So the first lever there folds the seat in half. Then the secondary lever here, pull that up, and pull it up, you can see one hand, nice and easy, and they fold up into this. From here, there is a little lever at the rear of the seat. From there, you can pull that and remove this one seat from the vehicle. So for example, if you were carrying just five people, one, two, three, four, five, and required a gigantic boot space, just take all those three seats out, not a problem. Or if you had four passengers and you're all going skiing and you all had skis down here, just take these two seats out, then you've got a very long, or whether you just needed a transit van for the day, take all seats out, then you've got a transit van. Everyone's happy, but very versatile. Doesn't stop there though, because this row of three 
can be rotated 180 degrees. So this seat will be the right hand facing backwards. So that will be then conference mode. So this will rotate 180 degrees and all the mats seem to change as well. So it's very clever. Uh, so if you needed three, three, uh, two banks of three looking at each other, that's achievable as well. After purchasing this vehicle, if you did require the seats change around to your preference, give us a shout on the moment of purchase and we can have that ready for you when you collect the vehicle. Very handy. Also, very important topic is USBs. We have six seats, so every seat gets its own USB. So we have two down there, two more down on this panel here, including cup holders, and there'll be two more on the bottom of the handbrake. So six USBs for six seats, it's only fair. Right, so using my elbow just to release the, the uh, toggle there, there's the first bit done. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to use my hand here. So uh, sorry about the camera quality, and just like that, we're back up into position. Wonderful. So that's a bit inside the rear of the Tornio Custom Sport. If you do require seeing uh, how it looks in conference mode, please go on to playlists on our YouTube channel, click on Ford Tornio, and there there are very many videos of different Tornios, shapes, sizes, formats, and everything else. Anyway, and obviously description will be found in the comment section. Here are the controls for the electric mirrors with the folding ability just there, two electric windows, leading into interior locking next to the door handle. Moment of appreciation for the designer of this court door card, big enough for lunch boxes, drinks bottles, your sweets, everything else. I mean, it's a fantastic. If that wasn't enough, you could put your, your flask of coffee in there, your Costa in there, everyone's happy. I mentioned previously we have a full-size spare wheel, and underneath this little cover here is the relevant tools and jacks required to change that at the side of the road. Leading up now, let's just lose the zoom now, let's lose the zoom. So these are the front two seats, so again it's a half leather, half cloth interior. Uh, these seats are electrically adjustable, so count with me. One and two is your forward and backwards. Let's go to half actually. Your three, uh, your one and two are your forward and backwards. Your three and your four are your front tilt. Your five and your six are your rear tilt, i.e. height. You got your seven and your eight, which is your rear tilt, and nine and your ten are your lumbar supports, a ten-way adjustable driver's seat. I'm just going to jump inside the vehicle now. You may hear a little bit of distortion on my microphone, so just bear with me for a moment. Marvellous. So, we're now outside the wind, so please just let me unwind myself, get my hood down and get the microphone in a bit more of a... Again, I don't know how much of this video you've actually heard, but I shall uh, listen back to it in a second. Right, so this is the dashboard, this beautiful Tornado. So I said the mileage was just over 24,000, and that is 24,116 exactly. So manual vehicle, foot down on the clutch, turn the key around, and that gains us power to the vehicle. So to begin, on the left-hand side is the RPM gauge tachom tachometer. Counts the revolutions of the crankshaft times 1,000, also known as the output power of the engine. Down at the bottom is a coolant temperature sensor and the fuel gauge. On the furthest right is an analog speedo with miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. We have a digital driver display in the middle and I'm gonna be controlling that using the return, the okay up and down, and the menu button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. To begin with, let's just give you a bit of zoom, like so. So to begin with, this is your settings page. So if we expand that, we've got different information settings in there about your auto stop start, your seat belt, and local hazard information. Down into driver assistance. So this is the driver assistance pack fitted to this vehicle. That includes your blind spot assist monitors, your pre-collision assist, traffic sign recognition, a lane keeping system, driver alert, hill start assist, cross traffic alert, eco coach, cruise control, and a speed limiter. So on this particular model, the cruise control is actually adaptive or you can set it to intelligent, so very clever. And that is the same again with the speed limiter. You can set that to intelligent, like so. Um, so what happens is, at the bottom of your screen, when you go past differing speed signs, just here is where the traffic speed signs will be displayed. So if you are someone who uses a speed limiter, when you go past a differing speed sign, it will change your limiter based on the speed sign red. Very clever. So back into the menu, I mean, come down to vehicle settings now. In vehicle settings, you can see things such as your auto high beam, and we go then into mirrors. You can see auto folding mirrors, and the last one I would like to show you is wiper or click the wrong button wipers, which is your rain sensing wipers. Marvelous. So that 
is a bit about the screen. Coming down, we're into Trip Computer 1, and we have then My View. Expanding that, you can then select in My View what you'd like to see, whether it's a digital speedometer, you've got fuel economy, chip computer, audio, eco coach, calm screen, it's all there. So it's a really nice driver display there. Um, so, yeah, a lot you can do with it. So, losing the zoom, that's a shave and a steering wheel. So, again, we've covered the right hand side. That also includes a voice command, a pickup, decline, and previous and next song function. The left hand side is where you'll find all the buttons for the adaptive cruise control. So top left is the distance to the vehicle in front. We have cancel, set speed plus and minus is found in the middle with standby top right and speed limiter bottom right. At the bottom of that cluster is volume minus, volume plus and a mute button. Continuing now into the central reservation of this vehicle. Worth noting, we have a manual handbrake, lovely. Leading into a nice little covered cup holder section, so you've got a sprung loaded cup holder so your coffee is not going to be going flying around everywhere and again I know it sounds a very simple point but it's one of my main things I like on these Torneos if you are driving these on a longer journey you've got to have somewhere to keep your drink your bottle your coffee flask and that's very well constructed we've got another little party piece in a minute I'll come back to that uh, so yeah six speed manual gearbox so Charles that very nice gearbox very easy to use flows through the gearbox and you get a nice positive sensation as well whilst I'm here I'm just going to release the handbrake so it doesn't beep at me pop it in into reverse and that wakes up the reversing camera so as you can see a nice crystal clear camera uh, with that nice black line helping you onto your trailer or caravan and it also changes as well so it's a park pilot system where it changes with the steering wheel proximity sensors for the front and rear parking sensors are found top right of the screen this will give you an intermittent beep that will increase in frequency as you get closer to the object in question pop it back into manual and apply the handbrake. We'll come back to the sync module in just a second. Um, but the left-hand side, another 12-volt socket and another USB, leading up to your hazards and the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. Nice simple system, fan speed to the left, temperature controls to the right. We have two heated front seats, which are three-way electrically adjustable. So if you do suffer with a cold bottom, and uh, heat that up for you. Uh, we have on and off rear demist, different flows events found in the middle with recirculation and air conditioning found to the right-hand side. Down in the middle is the ever faithful electronically heated front windscreen, so defrost and demiss in no time at all. Now, leading upwards, this then is the Sync 3.4 module. We know it's the no updated software because we have the dark blue band at the bottom. Um, this is your home page effectively, so you get a snapshot of the navigation, audio, and phone connectivity. Let me give you a quick tour around. Let's just turn that off. We've got BBC Radio 6 at the moment. Um, so this is your home page for your radio. Going to sources, we have AM, FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio, so whichever is your preference. Into phone, this is where you connect your phone via Bluetooth connectivity. Next in the middle is your Ford navigation. I use this all the time in my vehicle. I think it's a fantastic navigation system and equally it's very easy to use. For example, click the search box. Once the keyboard is loaded, you shall need, if you'd like to come to Perkins to look at this vehicle, you're going to need Charlie Mike 776 Sarah Alpha. Click the search box, and it'll speak to the GPSs in the sky, and navigate your route in no time at all. So that is a quick brief of uh, your navigation. Next up, let's go into settings. This is where you can adjust all your sound, your clock settings, your Bluetooth, and things such as that. But I thought I'd just show you this, because if you swipe to the left, you get the two widgets there for the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So these are two CarPlay systems, so whether you're on an Android device or an Apple device, plug your phone in using a USB data cable into, ideally, that port there, and it will pretty much mirror your phone onto this screen. There's many advantages of CarPlay. Main one, you're keeping your hands off your phone whilst you're driving, but you can still interact with your phone hands-free. So take advantage of the voice command button on the steering wheel that will wake up your voice assistant, either Google Assistant or Siri, and from there you can ask it to do a whole range of tasks, making phone calls, sending audible text messages, what's the weather like tomorrow, is it ever going to stop raining, you know, anything you like. But it keeps your hands off your phone whilst you're driving. In addition to that, there are applications that are compatible on this screen. So again, we do have a fantastic Ford navigation standard. If this wasn't your preference, you can then use Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, any of the above, and they're all compatible on this screen. So it gives you a whole range, very versatile in your preferences, of what you'd like to use. In addition to that, you can always use your Apple Music, your Spotify, your SoundCloud, audio books, podcasts, but they're all compatible. So fantastic. So a lovely screen, uh, lots of tech, and it's nice and easy to use, which I think is the main point. 
Um, so that's about it on the screen, just making sure I haven't missed anything. Don't think so. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly, we do have a few buttons down here, traction control, we have a mode button, and this is going to turn off the parking sensors. But before we leave, I'll show you a couple of little cubby holes. That's a perfect place to put documents and things like that, keep them nice and safe. And over here, this is the driver's area, another 12 volt socket and another USB, eight seats, eight USBs, three 12 volt sockets. So plenty of charging on there. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did have any other questions or you'd like a private FaceTime appointment, we can soon arrange that. So give us a call, 91376 550 899. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. If not, like, subscribe, and I'll be speaking to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.